Hello, Shauna. Happy Tuesday to you. Uh, my name is Calvin Burkhart. I work with Mr. and Mrs. Leeds here in Colorado Springs. Um, I was given your information by Andy Wynn here in town. I do some networking with him, and uh, over the last year and a half, we've become close friends. Uh, we share mutual clients. Uh, I handle a lot of the website stuff where he handles a lot of IT, email, uh, server type stuff. So uh, we've we've come together over the last year and a half, and, and uh, we've had some great progress. So um, if you have about four or five minutes, uh, I'd like to take some time to kind of go through your website. What I can see is working well for you guys. Um, I can take a look at some of your competitions, see what's working well for them, see where we can improve on. Um, Andy mentioned you guys may be looking for a redesign um, and uh, also possibly some, some ranking in the search engine. So uh, without further ado, uh, I'd like to get started. So uh, looking at your website, the first thing I see right off the bat is it's not secured. I'm sure you already are aware of that. Uh, but there uh, was some updates with the Google search engine a couple years ago. And uh, basically, if you don't have a secured site, it's going to be harder to rank up higher on the, on the search results. So uh, we'd want to get that fixed as soon as possible. Uh, with us, if we rebuild your website, that's included uh, with your first year hosting uh, as well. So uh, everything's good there. Uh, looking at your website, um, the, the three main components to like getting found in the search engines and everything is is content, citations, and backlinks. So first thing I want to talk about is content. And so uh, having uh, more relevant content with like keywords uh, into the content uh, will help you get found. Obviously for your first page, nobody really likes a, a wordy website, but then again, most people aren't going through the entire website trying to read everything. Uh, if they're there, they're looking for services, they want to get in contact with you. And so having good call, call to action and stuff like that is good. So uh, where we can improve on here is adding probably, uh, you know, a thousand to fifteen hundred words of content right on your front page. And we, you know, we do that by breaking it down different sections and it would make your page longer, uh, but it would ultimately help us get found for other keywords or key terms that you're not necessarily being found for right now. Um, looking at um, some of the information behind your website, I can see that you guys are using WordPress. Uh, so if you guys are familiar with that, if you guys want to continue using WordPress, that's what I prefer to build in. Um, I just build things slightly different than most. Um, but if you guys are already familiar with that and you guys are happy with WordPress, um, we can still stay on that platform. So just let me know. Um, looking at uh, some of your competition, I did a search for Roofing Colorado Springs. Uh, now the first thing that you're going to see obviously is going to be ads. So the Google Guaranteed is kind of a newer thing that Google's been doing. And it's basically, uh, you're only paying for leads that are qualified that come through, not not any junk or anything like that. So uh, if you guys are not already in here, uh, then we'd wanna get you inside there uh, to get you some more exposure. Um, and then obviously ads down here uh, on the top of the page and on the bottom, you'll see ads. So these are people that are paying uh, to get found in the search results. Uh, and this could be kind of a gamble, you know, it could be kind of expensive. And, um, you know, if it doesn't produce, then, you know, you might end up having to spend less, which would put you further down. So I really like to focus on SEO and ranking in the map sections and in this organic section down here. That's really my focus. You'll notice there's a lot of like uh, little dotted lines and stuff around different links and stuff. And that's some of the tools that I use. Um, so just disregard those, but, uh, they help me in my job to identify certain things. Um, but looking at the maps, this is the second thing I want to talk to you about, which is citations. So in order to get listed in the maps and, and rank high in the maps, uh, first you're going to need uh, what's called citations. I believe you guys already have some, and I'll get to that here in a second. Um, citations are essentially uh, local directories or directories that list your business information. So your business name, phone number, and address. And it helps you get found throughout the web. So like Yelp, uh, City Star, Yellow Pages, stuff like that. So those would be considered directories. Uh, so being listed in more uh, directories than your competition will get you more exposure to, you know, uh, in front of more people. So, um, you know, that has pretty much everything to do with citations. But uh, another key factor of that to get ranked high in the top three positions, you also need to be ranking high in the organic listings. And um, that's primarily having to do with links. So backlinks. So uh, the world is, is uh, the world of Internet is basically made up of a bunch of links a bunch of websites linking back and forth to one another saying that, hey, this is what this company does. Um, go there and check them out. And so uh, the more businesses that are relevant to your industry that are linking back to you saying that, yes, this is a trusted roofing company, uh, et cetera, that is going to ultimately help you be more relevant in the search results and, and get to these higher positions. 
Um, so looking at a tool I like to use called AREFs, this kind of gives me a historical record view of your website without actually having access to all your Google analytic data. Uh, Google buys and sells data all the time, and so these are just one of the companies that kind of gets that data and uh, resells it. So um, this will give me an idea of like how, how your website's been performing over time. Um, oh, uh, looking at the results, I went after, uh, I, I took a look at total roofing to compare you against. So um, looking at just you guys, uh, this is kind of where you're at. You're ranking about 70 million or so in, in the world um, out of about 400 you know, billion websites or so that they track. I think there's like 25 trillion or so websites uh, in existence, but only the top like 400 billion or something even get really looked at. Um, and looking at your website, I can see that you guys do have some links. You guys do have some backlinks. There's uh, some trust there. There's not a lot of power. Um, there is, uh, you guys are getting found for some keywords, which is bringing you some traffic. And what I can see is over time, um, and this only goes back to like 2012, I think. 2012, I believe is, is the cutoff for, for this particular uh, software. But looking at your organic search, I can see that you guys were holding some, some high position keywords. So I'm looking at the bottom, like right where my mouse is. That uh, So basically it's saying like uh, in December of last year, you guys had about 15 keywords in the top three positions. Eight keywords uh, between the positions of four and 10. And, you know, uh, the rest were all beyond 11, so second page and beyond. Um, and so all of a sudden you start seeing all these drops in your traffic and your keyword search and, and all this. Um, and so if I look at kind of like your backlink profile, it kind of lines up with that. So I can see that you're, you know, there were some referring domains that were lost. You had uh, 31 in September and then it went down to 19 in November. And sometimes when links fall off, it'll take, um, take a few weeks before it adjusts in the search engine. Sometimes it even takes a couple months, so up to 60 days generally. Um, but that's what I can see here. So I can see that you lost some links and um, in return, it affected your keywords, which affected your traffic. And this is all kind of recent. So I assume that's why you're reaching out to Andy and kind of looking to get some help on this. So from this data, I can go in and I can see your referring domains. And I know I'm kind of running over time here, so I'll try to wrap this up. Uh, but easy local, you're getting 15 links from there. If I expand this, I can kind of see where your posts are. And so here's, um, you know, basically directory listings for easy local um, and all these other websites that are linking to you guys. OK, looking at total roofing, you can see they have a lot of content uh, right on the front page. But all the uh, pictures and stuff are also uh, saved as content. So. Total Roofing near Colorado Springs is what they have that picture saved as. Oh, that's the actual web, HTML website. So I'd have to further further look into the image, but I'm sure that they have uh, their SEO in order since they are ranking very high. Um, they also have a lot of back pages. There's some blogs, um, lots and lots of pages. Uh, looking at their website, um, you can kind of see the differences. They have a, a more trust factor, some more power, and a heck of a lot more backlinks, which is in turn getting them found for keywords and bringing them traffic. So if I go in here, I can actually see all the referring domains that they're uh, getting information from. So like KOAA, um, uh, some other ones in here. So basically what we'd want to do uh, to help get you ranked above your competition is we'd want to go after the same type of links that your that, that the leaders are already going after so we'd want to try to get some of those in there for you as well so you can kind of match what your competition is doing but then we don't want to just stop there we want to go uh, and do more uh, so that way you can you can eventually get above them so um, hopefully this has been eye-opening for you if you have any questions uh, please feel free to reach out to me I'd love to hear uh, more about what you guys uh, are looking for in your project. Uh, I did a search uh, on your site to see kind of how many index pages you had on your website. So I saw, uh, if I go to the very back page, I can see that you guys have a total of 71 pages. And I noticed that a lot of those had to do with like your uh, previous projects and stuff like that. So I'd uh, be interested to know more about this project and see uh, what it is that I can help you out with and, and get you to reach your 2020 goals. Uh, so once again, my name is Calvin Burkhart. I work with Mr. and Mrs. Leeds. Uh, my direct line extension is 719-219-7151, and my extension is uh, 501. So thank you for taking the time to, to watch this short video, 
and I hope you have a great rest of your day.